It's May 1st, 2020, so it's time for another monthly update video in which I'm going to talk about what we've got coming up in this very busy month of May and what went on in April of 2020. Um, I always like to begin with three big things. So big thing number one is that later on in the month, we're not sure exactly what the date will be because they're still setting the schedule. I will be presenting as a keynote speaker at an online conference on the psychology of global crises. So more information about that later on. Uh, big thing number two we will be having the second session of the classic metal class that we got started this last month of April. And I'll tell you more about that in the May section. And then big thing number three, many of you may know that I co-host a radio show that you can listen to live or on the internet called Wisdom for Life. And we are now doing weekly episodes as opposed to bi-weekly episodes, me and my co-host Dan Hayes. So if you're interested in practical philosophy and its applications to improving our lives, you might want to check that out. April has been not just a busy but also a rough month. I think uh, some of you may have seen the video that I released yesterday, a kind of tribute to our 14-year-old dog, Amika, who was the last of our dogs, who we uh, unfortunately had to put down. It was actually the, the right decision for the time, but those things are always quite difficult. And so, you know, my, my wife and I and our remaining four-legged family, our cat Sassy, are all kind of going through the grief thing at this point in time, which will go on for quite a while. Um, you know, we've also been dealing with all of the pivot to online uh, education stuff. I, most of my classes were actually online, uh, three of the five that I was teaching, but one of them is a prison class where most of the students are in lockdown, so that presents its own challenges. And I have two other classes that had to pivot online, students who didn't sign up for online classes who had to do online classes. And so there's, you know, a good bit of uh, work involved in that. I also had quite a few events, all of which, of course, were online events because we're not doing face-to-face -face anymore. We held the Milwaukee Sophia and Milwaukee Stoic Fellowship meetings online through Zoom. Um, I was also invited to do another presentation for the STOA this time on solitude and interior life. Um, so if you want to see the video for that, I'll put the link down below in the video description. Had my half-hour Hegel sessions, the public one for everybody, and the uh, Patreon exclusive one for people at a particular level. We had three Wisdom for Life radio shows because we did switch to doing the weekly radio show. So we had three instead of the normal two in April. I also did a philosophy pop-up specifically about online um, education and, and the pivot to online. I did my usual AMA. Both, you, know, you can see the pop-up and the AMA linked to below as well. And we had the first ever classic metal class as well, which was kind of a cool thing. Um, held that uh, using, using Zoom and doing a sign up for it in advance so I could provide people with some useful guides. And we talked about what classic metal is and why the year 1970 is so important and how it's bigger than just Black Sabbath. And then, you know, years and years later, Judas Priest coming on the scene. There's all of this stuff happening in 1970 and running through 70 to 74. So you can see the video for that as well if you'd like to. Um, as I mentioned, you know, I, I, I'm still teaching classes. This is the last week for my students at Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design, but we're still chugging away with Carthage College and uh, Milwaukee Area Technical College as well. And I've been doing some, some writing, uh, working on some collaborative work with some colleagues, doing a lot of editing, of course, for Stoicism Today and uh, some tutorial and philosophical counseling work. Uh, what else went on during, uh, during April? Well, I 
churned away with the podcast, putting out not quite every single day an episode, but probably at least five a week, I'm guessing. And um, those were on uh, some some William James material, The Will to Believe, which really cool essay, by the way, and quite a few on Epictetus's discourses. I still have more to convert with that, but I, I got at least, I think, 10 or 12 done. And then I started in on releasing the video, the, the, the podcast, rather, made from the videos on Cicero's short work on fate, which I routinely teach in my classes. As far as videos go, I didn't meet some of the goals that I had about, you know, getting back to shooting more um, half hour Hegel content or doing the book reviews, in part because of all the things that, that went on this month. I did, however, create two new unboxing videos. Again, I'll link to those below that some of you may have gotten a kick out of. One uh, about receiving a shipment of chalk, which I need for this chalkboard. I was almost out. And another about getting a book that I needed for, for my, my videos and for my classes that included Cicero's On Fate. Um, I also did a, quite a few core concept videos for my classes, including some on Alistair McIntyre's After Virtue and a number of them on Cicero's On Friendship. And then there's, of course, the videos from the online events that I mentioned before, linked to below, the AMA, the pop-up, the classic metal class, the STOA presentation. So if you want to see those, you can just click the show more and you'll, you'll see them popping up for you and then you can you can watch them if you'd like. There are a lot of online events coming up in May that you can watch, listen to, participate in, in one way or another. All of the times that I'm going to give you are central time. So if you're not in central time zone, you want to make sure that you take account of the time difference between where you are and where I am. And I'll start by talking about um, the radio show, which airs every Saturday, 4 p.m. Central Time, Wisdom for Life. If you want to hear me and my co-host talking about practical philosophy and interesting topics and things that you can apply to your everyday life and issues and problems. And, you know, we'll also consider listeners questions if they send them in to us. Um, then you want to tune in and you can listen to that live, uh, like I said, on, on Saturdays, or you can always go back and listen to previous episodes when I, when I post them. So that will be on the 2nd, the 9th, the 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th, because it's once a week. So five episodes coming up in May. The other thing that we don't yet have a date for is that keynote presentation at the Psychology of Gro Global Crises conference. Um, not quite sure what day it's going to be or exactly what time. So you want to look at my social media or the Reason IO events calendar to, to get updated on that. What I'm going to be talking about is complex causality and solidarity with the vulnerable. And I'll give you just a little bit of a preview of that. So, you know, when we talk about the, the COVID-19 crisis, it's a crisis in part because other things were screwed up and failing. And that's what that's part of what made it into the crisis that it is that we're experiencing. And I think that I'm going to make an argument that we really need to think about how all these different causes and effects coincide with each other and about the need to focus on and favor the most vulnerable rather than the most privileged when we're thinking about what we ought to be doing. So that, again, we'll, we'll find a date for that uh, sooner or later. Um, tomorrow on the 2nd, I've been invited to the 52 Living Ideas group to present a, a bit on stoic virtue, the good, the bad, and the indifferent. That will be happening at 1.30 p.m. Uh, Central Time, 2.30 Eastern, which is where they're, they're based. Then on the 5th uh, at 6 p.m., we will be having our Milwaukee Sophia, that's the Society of Philosophers in America, chapter meeting. Anybody who wants to come in is welcome. You don't have to be from Milwaukee because we're doing it online. And we'll be talking about, again, how we can apply philosophy in our everyday life. So if you want to join in on that, uh, you're perfectly welcome to. 
And then on the 9th at 12 p.m., I'll have my monthly AMA, that is Ask Me Anything session. You want to make sure to get there early and ask your question early. If you ask multiple questions, I'm going to skip over uh, your, your questions. I'll just pick one because we get so many people asking questions that I think it's only fair to try to answer as many from as many different people as I, I can. Um, then that same day on the 9th at 2 p.m. I'll have my philosophy chat which is a perk for Patreon supporters at a certain level, people who bring all of this to you by underwriting the work that I do. So if you want to become a Patreon supporter and get in on Philosophy Chat where you get to have, you know, sort of, uh, you know, video conferencing discussions with me and talk about anything that you like, maybe you want to sign up. Um, on the 13th, another perk brought to you by Patreon supporters, but open to everybody. Uh, at 5 p.m. on the 13th is my public Hegel Q&A and discussion session. You can pop in and ask me anything that you'd like about Hegel, German idealism, philosophy. Uh, if people don't have questions, and usually we, you know, the regulars and I chit-chat about different topics, but anybody who wants to get you know some some information about Hegel or at least my speculations is welcome to join me for that um, on the 16th at 12 p.m. we will be having session two of classic metal class and that is a sort of video conferencing seminar that, that I'll be leading. And I'm very happy to say my friend and colleague, Scott Cerulli, will be joining me again as a special guest. This time we're going to be talking about what I call the Sabbath Purple Nexus, which is how Deep Purple and Black Sabbath not only functioned as a catalyst and influence for all these other bands, but actually brought in you know important players and then sort of spit out important players. Players, resulting in a whole bunch of other bands forming, you know, like White Snake, Rainbow, uh, solo acts like, you know, Dio and Ozzy, um, and and this whole scene that emerges out of all these intersections and going back and forth with Sabbath and Deep Purple. So that's that's going to be a great uh, time. Um, then on uh, the twentieth. At 3 p.m., I've been asked by Massimo Pigliucci to join him as a guest in his uh, Stoa Nova uh, organization, their presentation. And we haven't decided quite yet what we're going to talk about. We're kicking around some ideas, but uh, and, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. He's a great presenter. Um, I think that we'll have a lot of interesting conversation about whatever it is that we're going to talk about. And it'll definitely be about Stoicism. Uh, on the 28th at 6 p.m., another Stoic thing, the MKE, that is Milwaukee Stoic Fellowship. We meet by Zoom during the COVID crisis. And uh, you don't have to be from Milwaukee, just like with the Milwaukee Sophia. Anybody who wants to join in is welcome. So, you know, it's our local chapter. We have quite a few regulars who pop in from our, our chapter, but we also have people coming regularly from Des Moines and Orlando and Tucson. So, so if you're from somewhere else, feel free to pop in. And then the last thing that we have as a scheduled event is on the 30th, so the very end of, of May, 12 p.m., I'll be doing a video premiere of another one of the you know self-directed study videos it's about time i finally got to augustine so i'm going to shoot that and we'll premiere it at that time which means that i will be doing live chat answering questions or addressing comments that people leave as they're watching it so if you if you like that sort of thing that interactivity you'll want to put that on your calendar the other things, I mean, I, you know, we're going to still be having uh, classes going on and I'm still going to be doing a lot of writing. Obviously, we're still going through, you know, dealing with the, the recent loss of, of Amica. Um, all of that is still going to be happening in, in May. And then um, I'll be doing the podcast some more. I, I'm going to try to shoot for actually releasing an episode a day if I can. We're going to finish up Cicero's On Fate, and then I, I have some stuff that I need to get ready for my students, which means that it's also getting ready for you. So I'm going to do some Kohlberg stuff on moral development, some James Rachel's on moral on cultural relativism, and then launch into Dostoevsky's Notes from the Underground. And after I get through that, I'll probably do an opinion poll to see 
what it, what people want next in the podcast. So stay tuned for that later on in the month. Videos. Uh, this is going to be a month where I can hopefully start getting ahead of the game on videos. All of the event videos will be, of course, released, but uh, I'm going to try to get back to shooting my six half-hour Hegel videos a month. I do want to get this half-hour Hegel project finished someday, you know, uh, and then I've got some books to review. I'll be doing some uh, videos on those. I'll probably be doing some personal videos as well. People have been asking me for, for those, and so when I think they're appropriate, I'll, I'll do that. Um, Still releasing videos on Cicero's On Friendship that I created for my students and early release to my Patreon supporters. And I've got some videos on James uh, Pragmatism Lecture 1 that I'm going to release. Some core concept videos on David Hume's inquiry regarding human understanding that I, I think I need to do. And finally, I want to, re I want to revisit... Camus Myth of Sisyphus, which I, I started shooting videos on when I was teaching that existentialism class online last summer, I believe. Yeah, last summer. And now I'm teaching it again in the fall as a 15-week class. So I didn't get to shoot some of the videos that I wanted to. I'm going to hopefully crank those out this month. And you know, I, might, I might do some other core concept videos, but that's already saying quite a lot. So I think that's you know enough to commit to for the time being. I hope that all of you have a great month. Um, you know, there, there's a lot to do here, and um, you know, there's a lot of activities going on. Um, so wherever you happen to be in the world, I hope that you're safe and uh, healthy and well stocked up on things, and that uh, you can join us for some of these online events or, you know, look forward to the podcasts and videos coming out later this month.